Listen, I I'm on the way to my sister's wedding, and I get the news that WWE 2K20 Universe is going to be revealed. Now, I got sent the information last night, and I've been trying to process it in the best way possible. If you guys know me, and if you don't, you can hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications so you don't miss any videos. I'm a big fan of Universe Mode, and in fact, leading up to WWE 2K20, I've been playing WWE 12, 13, 14, and past games, and simming Universe Mode to find the problems. Now, this year's Universe Mode, I, I just want to read the first thing from this email from 2K that they're promoting. Are you a hardcore Universe Mode player? Then there's plenty to get excited about in WWE 2K20. Check out these list of updates that will give players more freedom to create than ever before. Now, I want to let you down soft and gentle. I want to be easy on this. The words general manager do not appear. And I think the big thing to keep in mind, especially when it comes to WWE 2K20, is we all wanted a general manager mode. We all wanted something related to GM, but it's not in the plans. Universe mode has never been that. And I've been the most snarky one on Twitter saying, listen, you can keep universe mode. You can literally keep this mode. Just call it my GM universe. Don't change anything. Don't even put in the words general manager anywhere else. Just literally call it my GM universe because you are essentially the GM of a show. Did we get that? No. And I think it's a little unfair, and this is where I'm gonna differ from everybody else probably in the community, is I'm not gonna crap on 2K from that. Because it is a universe mode. It never was called My GM Universe. That's what I and everybody else have wanted it to be. So it, in, in, as far as game design goes, I get it. In 2K, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rally up for that. But I wanna talk about these changes really fast and go through them. And here's the big thing to keep in mind. If you are a universe mode simulation player, the big thing that's the problem is you're probably going to enjoy it. If you are the fan of older games and you like more arcade style, it's probably not going to be for you because the changes that I'm reading off, like um, major and minor shows, you can now go from seven matches to nine, so you can add more stuff. So if you really love, you know, let's say your your GM mode, or I'm sorry, it's not GM mode. Your universe mode was like SmackDown, it was two hours. Well, guess what? Now you have nine slots, so you can make Monday Night Raw with three hours. Pay-per-views. This one is fine for me because I actually hate choosing which rivalries not to put on. The pay-per-view matches limits have been increased from seven to 14, which is a good thing, especially if you're making a simulation universe mode where you're literally putting every match on the card like WWE and it's running five hours, you can now do that in a video game, which is pretty big. Number of championships on the show, I think this is a good one. It's going from six to seven. I don't know why it's only seven. I wish it was more, to be honest with you. But it is a welcome addition because when I was working on the GTS Universe mode in my own last year, I was frustrated by the limited amount of titles because again, WWE has 43 titles and you don't even know what they mean. So it's more simulation based, so you can now do more. How about this? Rivalries have increased from three to four. This one is a good one. Again, this is just, Another thing that nothing, I, I think everything on this list that I'm going to read off, nothing is revolutionary. Everything is just minor annoyances that I've wished in the past got changed. I wanted more rivalries. Great. I wanted more matches on pay-per-view. Great. But if you were hoping for a GM mode or anything else, you are going to be disappointed. Next up on this list, pay-per-views can now be hosted by three shows instead of two. I don't personally remember me ever asking for this, but I think it's a cool little addition. Again, nothing game changing or, or game breaking, but it is kind of a cool addition. Players will have more freedom to delete and add promos and matches. Well, I thought I already, maybe I'm wrong here. I already thought I could go in and literally delete and change every match or promo I don't want. So I'm interested to see what that means. Story designer, story creator, hopefully, but we're, no, we're not going to get that. Next up, 50 of the most used cutscenes, that doesn't sound like a lot, have been re mo for the women. So basically, if you've had scenes that you know didn't look very good for female characters, 50 of them have been recapped, so it's, it's better, which I have no problem with that, especially with a female in my career. I think that's fine. Again, I'm not sure why it wasn't done before, but I'm guessing a lot of people didn't use women or they weren't given the opportunity because it wasn't a feature. 25 new cutscenes have been added, which that, I mean, we had the same cutscenes in 2010 to 2014, cutscene editor, story designer, so I'm not going to crap on them for that. I like 25 new cutscenes, but again, nothing revolutionary. 3,000 new promo lines are in the game. 3,000. 
I mean, okay. I don't know what the promo lines are going to be, but I mean, it's cool that at least added promo lines. Custom matches can now be included in match tables along with the new mixed tag match. Okay, here's one of the things that I think there's a big difference learning, and I've learned this firsthand from working with Pulse on SAFW and Fire Pro. Fire Pro's match tables and everything that triggers stuff and move variety is all, it's on a very smart system. In WWE, even with the match tables, and yes, match tables were in last year, but the match tables, I don't want to say they didn't work, but it's just, there's not that much variety when you can go in, right? So this year what they're promoting is the custom matches, which are great, because one of the biggest frustrations in universe mode was I can't have multi-finishers. I, I don't know why. In play now, you could add more finishers and do everything like that. In universe mode, you couldn't. So now I can have custom matches with multiple finishers, and then I can put it in the match table and use it, which is something that should have been in there the entire time. Uh, main event matches and match tables have been tweaked so they uh, are more likely to occur. And the example they give is kind of weird because I don't think I've ever set a match table for a Royal Rumble at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view because if you're playing Royal Rumble on a card, it should automatically fill in a Royal Rumble and it has done that since 2010. So I don't understand why this is the example we're given, but it is. Um, so you're going to have, you know, the matches happen more that you set it up. So last year's match table that you set up stuff, guess what, nerd? It didn't work very well. Now it will, I guess. Then we have new rivalry content, which includes options such as low-intensity enemies making peace after a single pay-per-view, or low-to-mid-intensity uh, allies slowly falling out over several weeks instead of a sudden turn. Again, a good little change. I think you're really going to have to dive in deep to universe mode and play to, to notice it. But again, it's a, it's a fine change for universe mode. If you're a hardcore universe mode player, that's cool. Um, again, nothing game-breaking or revolutionary, but it's cool. Uh, the overall menu has been streamlined to make it more accessible to those in the universe mode. All deeper options are still available for experienced players, which probably means it's all buried under the menus and everything. So the big thing to keep in mind here, at least for me, is we did not get GM mode, at least so far, and I'm okay with that. As much as it pains me right now, and people are going to probably crap on me this, for this, universe mode is not GM mode. Universe mode is very dynamic compared to what GM mode used to be, even though they could have just literally added graphs, charts, and pay-per-view numbers and show numbers, and that alone would have been literally GM mode. It's probably the easiest thing to add into the show. I don't know why it's not there, but I'm not going to criticize 2K for it this time. I'm, I'm done fighting over this. If they don't want general manager in their, in their game, I'm going to pitch it to you know AEW or any other companies that are making a game for the features I want. If they're not going to give them to me, I'm not just going to keep coming on video and, and, and crapping on them every single time. I'm just not going to do it. So I wonder what you guys think. What are your thoughts on the universe mode changes? Like I said, if you play universe mode hardcore, the matches being added, uh, more shows, more cutscenes, this is all fine. But if you were expecting something huge, revolutionary, you didn't get it. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. That's where we're going to wrap it up. I got to get going. I'm going to be leaving back home to go see my dogger sometimes. Oh, I miss my little dog. Can't wait to see him. It's been a couple months living with Pulse. So until next time, guys, thank you so much. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to. You can follow me on social media at Tubby Emu. And that's where we're going to wrap this up. So until next time, we will see you all later.